Well, hi guys. I'm at my sister's house. And as you can see, uh, she's got the same problem as me. <laughs> we both uh, love animals. And we both love to feed them. And I looked out the window. I says, your deer's waiting for you. And she says, why don't you go do it? And look at this. She is uh, right in front of me. Had a nice cup full of sunflower seeds and cracked corn and some peanuts. And Mama Deer is so happy and so beautiful. Hi there. Look at your beard. You got a goatee. <laughs> Look at that black spot on her back leg there. That's interesting. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, we love uh, feeding animals. Our grandpa was this way. My grandpa would have chipmunks going in and out of his legs and squirrels. And he knew all the bird calls and he would whistle with the birds. And deer would come into the yard. And so just growing up, I wanted to emulate my grandpa so much and spend time with wildlife. And it's, that's what I do now as an adult. Okay, guys, I'm back home from my sister's place out in the woods. I got uh, the water bowl all full. Lots of yummy food spread all around for these guys. This is the first one to show up. She came out of the big tree hollow right there with, I uh, saw babies popping their heads out of the hole. They're not coming down yet. Perhaps they will soon. It's got a couple water bowls here. Oh yeah, look at this. This is my new uh, privacy wall. Really went to town here the other day with my injured leg <laughs> hauling wood all over the place. And this is what the injury looks like. The swelling's going down. The pain is still there. Uh... I think I learned a lesson. We'll see. You know, I got a little greedy. I was on the other side of this log and mama and the babies were in here. Not cutie, a different one. And I thought, I gotta get closer. I gotta get good footage for my viewers. And I paid the price for that. She sent me slamming right into this, I think. That big knob. And over the top I went. Ouch. But I gotta remember, they're not all sweet and gentle like cutie and mr wiener letting me pet them and touch their babies some of the other ones you got to wait for them to bring the babies right to you just stay as still as possible be very very patient and then when the moment happens it happens and i rushed it my fault all right we got another visitor here this is the one i sometimes mistake for heather because straight on the face is very similar to heather but she has a much more uh reddish rusty color on the top she's a redhead so i need your help guys on uh choosing a name for this one this one just doesn't look like a mod to me so i'm not going to go with mod but it's a mama i think she was one holding up in my log pile earlier this year so any ideas on what we call that one i think this one the one that keeps sneaking up from behind uh, being real mischievous. I'm naming this one Mischievous Missy Because I like to refer to her as Missy I'm like Missy. What are you up to now? So that's that one And she's pretty bold with me. She comes real close and Who charged me the other day that was either Bill or Jill. I'm starting to lean towards Jill after seeing the uh, footage because later that day, looking out my window, I think I saw Bill and I went, Ah, very close, but Bill's a little more narrow in the face. Well, hi, Missy. You having a drink of water? It's nice and fresh. I just poured it. You're not going to charge at me like Jill did, are you? I don't think Missy's a mom. Uh, I don't see any signs of her nursing. So this, if it's a female, I'm not positive. Could just be a lone female. Uh, has a spunky attitude, which I like. She's kind of mischievous, liking to always sneak uh, from behind. Doesn't mind me being close. That I like. So yeah, I see. Uh, I see good times ahead with Missy here. She's fun. You're gonna wreck that whole wall I built, aren't you? Here, you want some cookies? Oh yeah. I spoke too soon. <laughs> Missy's got that little Napoleon streak. So that was just a little bit of like, I'll take the cookie, but you back off. But leaving the cookie there, oh my. So I gotta learn my uh, 
my distance. I think this is about about the right distance here. No more than three feet with Missy. Okay, Missy. You win this time. But one of these days I'm nose booping you. So, I don't know. I kind of wish I had the time and the equipment and maybe a government grant to really study these guys on a whole nother level because I just saw Missy come out of that big tree and I've seen Jill come out of there I've seen Cutie come out of there now Missy's come out of there and I've seen Missy come out of this hole I've seen Cutie's babies come out of this hole which tells me is it like a first come first serve every night whichever uh, hole you end up in it's yours and when another one tries to crawl in do they growl and kick you out and you got to go find another tree because I would have thought they have an established den and they just return to it night after night, especially when they have their babies. So, boy, I'm really curious about this. I'm seeing multiple different raccoons come out of the same dens. So I don't know if any of you have any information about this, but boy, if you had like a camera uh, set up at the entrance or set up inside of every one and really study day after day which raccoon comes and goes, There'd be a lot to learn. Hey, Missy, what are you doing? Yep, the sneaky, sneaky, mischievous Missy. So look at this. We have one lone baby. I watched it come down a tree over there. And I don't know if it's with Mama right there or whose baby this is. And here it comes. Little baby, whose are you? And you are ultra tiny. Very, very tiny. Missy sees the baby and is not happy about the baby. Oh my goodness, that's a small one. I wonder if uh, this one woke up before the others and left the hollow without Mama's permission. Smelling cookies in the air. That could be. Oh, goodness, cutie. Look at you. Look at you, little baby. Are you going to come up on my lap? Uh, if this baby comes to me and comes on my lap, holy cow, I don't know what I'm going to do. Right behind Missy. I hope Missy's good. Missy, you be good to that baby. So I think the baby's in the tree hollow over there. Maybe I can reposition myself to see what's going on. The baby might be looking for water. So the baby has this figured out. Excellent. Look at this tiny one. All right. I don't know whose this is. I need Missy to not misbehave and to just let me gradually get closer over here and see what's going on with this little guy. I think this one's looking for a little attention going, Missy, will you uh, help me? Where is that baby going? I got food everywhere. Missy, calm down. It's just a baby. Oh, Missy, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing, Missy. Yeah, you're giving me that look. That look like I'm going to have to slam my shim again against a log. That's one thing about this little triangle here. I'm kind of cornered in here. I'm feeling for this baby. It seems a little confused. Maybe it's this one's right here. This definitely looks like a nursing mom. For whom we don't have a name, that's your guy's job. Start tossing some out, guys. Some suggestions. This little baby is very comfortable in my presence, that's for sure.
There we go. Little piece of cookie for you, sweetie. There you go. Oh, look how tiny this one is. What are you doing out all alone in this big world? Here it comes, guys. It's coming right to me. Missy, you are wrecking this moment. Missy, you need to chill out right now. Yeah, little baby. goodness guys I just feel like picking it right up and giving it a snuggle he's eating he's getting calories knows where the water is so I would like to ask my re rehabilitator friends out there at what age are they self-sufficient where they don't need mama anymore like for how long do they need mama's milk? You know, I've had in my backyard where babies get separated from mom and I've seen all the way up to a day where they're up in the tree till mama comes back and finds them. And this does happen. They do get separated sometimes. They're distracted, they're just Mom takes off with the group and then the baby's calling and calling and mom doesn't hear or something scares them off. And so where a lot of you might be saying, you got to take that baby, you got to take it now. My approach is always let nature take care of itself first. Usually it all works out for the good in the end. Uh, what's a real good sign is this thing is getting uh, food. It knows where to find water that I'm putting out. Yeah, let me pet your little head. Oh, pick you up by your scruff. Yeah. Oh. You are the tiniest little thing. Look at your cute little face. So teeny tiny. It's eating a little bit of everything too. There's a cookie for you in the water. Oh, it's nice and soft for you now to eat. There you go, baby. There you go. You know, when I was looking at the tree it came down, I swear I saw an adult by it. But the adult never came down. I just find this very odd. Oh, good job, baby. You showed mischievous Missy who's boss. Oh, you're gonna be a tough one like little Napoleon, aren't you? It's okay. Oh, it's okay, baby. I'm sorry. Did I scare you? 
Oh, so tiny. All right, see Mama going up the tree? That's the one we want to pick a name for. And that's the same tree that baby came down. Um, if that is Mom, she's not paying much attention to the baby. Maybe she'll do some barks and call for it. Maybe she'll hear the baby cry and come back down. Baby is way over there munching on dog food. And Missy is in this tree. I know it's too tough to see guys, but Mama went all the way up and there's a group of babies up there with her. So I think that is one of her, her babies that just left the group and came down getting impatient for Mom. And Mom's like, okay, go eat. I'll leave you with Daddy Yoon. So little baby starting to come back around towards the right direction. And I think it's going to head back to the tree with uh, Mama and the others. So that gives me a little peace of mind. Yep, she's going the right way. Baby, I'm going to have to escort you all the way back home. You look a little tiny and a little confused. I might have to pick you up by the scruff and put you on the tree and send you up on your way. Okay? Come on. Let's get you back to Mama. You know, it's dangerous out here. There's coyotes and everything. There's fox. People walk their dogs off the leash. You're going the right direction. Go to that big tree. That's home. All the way up there is Mama. That's a good baby. Oh my goodness. I was starting to get nervous. So baby is heading exactly where Mama and all the brothers and sisters are. And I can uh, say Happy Oons Day and go home and have dinner myself with peace of mind knowing that this little guy is going to be just fine. It's not an orphan, just an extra brave one that decided to do its own thing. But Mama really needs to teach that one a lesson that that's tricky, tricky business in a big woods like this. So Mama's way at the top with the others on a long branch. And they're going to be re reunited real soon. Bye-bye, baby. Thanks for letting me touch you and giving you cookies. You're going to remember me, I hope. Well, first got to get my backpack if I want to leave. You're not going to bolt at me, are you? You're not going to give me another injury, are you? You better not. One's enough. I learned my lesson, kind of. Oh, I'll never learn my lesson. <laughs> Bye, guys.